Flat. This week, <laughs> the ghost goes to war. <laughs> Rogers! Rogers! Private Thaddeus Rogers! Where is that guy? Come I'm going to give him some... Coming. Now, look, Rogers. We're not in Great Lee's England to see the sights, see? Well, we're yes, here. Sergeant, I know. I we know. happen to be here, Private, to widen that narrow road so we can drive our tanks down to the coast for shipping to France, but eh? Sergeant, couldn't we just. Now, get in that bulldozer and shove that rock out of the way. Well, couldn't we do it tomorrow, Sergeant? It's mighty dark tonight. No! Say, wait a minute, Rogers. Wait a minute now. How come you're so anxious to it's get. It's a ghost, sir. A what? A ghost, you know, maybe a witch. You, you see, they burned the witch at the stake here 200 years ago and buried her under that rock. For heaven's sake, Rogers, you don't mean to tell oh, me that... Oh, I ain't worried. But the limeys here say that if that rock is moved, the ghost will escape from a grave and turn this town upside now, down. Now, 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 look, Private Rogers. Get in that bulldozer and shove that rock out of the way, or I'll haunt you on KP for the rest of your natural life. Start her up. Okay, Sarge. Come ahead. We'll see if there's a ghost around here. Mr. McIntosh. Well, there I am, lying quietly in my bed, about to drop off to sleep, when suddenly I hear the back door slam. You hear that? And then before you know it... Uh, what did I tell you, boys? It was that blinking Yankee bulldozer chappy what started all this. Hold on, Mr. Sykes. All of a sudden, I feel a chill, and there's a lump in the bed between me and the moonlight streaming through the window. Mm. My voice freezes in my windpipe. No, I mean. And before I can summon the strength to jump out of my bed and give a shout... The lump disappears. The bedroom door opens, and I hear the front door slam. If that ain't the ghost of Scrap Faggot Green... Mer Shh! Uh, here comes a stranger. Mr. Sykes? Mr. Walter J. Sykes? That's me, Walter J. Sykes. Owner of your old Queen Anne's Castle Inn. What can I do for you? Well, my name is Boyd Lewis of the United Press. I just got into Great Lease from London. Ah, an American newspaper man. That's right, sir. The United Press wants to know if there's any truth to the story about the ghost of Scrap Faggot Green. Is there any truth? Why, sir? Listen, Mr. Lewis, and I'll fill you in on background. A witch was burned at the stake here at Great Lees 200 years ago. Yeah, she's been resting peacefully all these years until last night. Aye, last, last night, night two American soldiers used a bulldozer to push away the stone on her grave, allowing her spirit to escape the dead. And of all the people she had to call on, she picked on me first. I don't like the looks of it at all. What do you think, Mr. Lewis? I think I'll call on those two American soldiers. This the place, eh, Sergeant? That's right, Mr. Lewis. We just pushed it away. Yeah, and I remember hearing a terrible sound, like a screech owl. Yeah, yeah, I remember that, too. But it could have been the wind. Well, now, tell me, did you see anything? Not a thing. All I know is the folks around here are blaming this ghost business on us. Yeah, and we don't like the idea of a ghost messing up this war, see? Hey, Sergeant, uh, what about you spending the night with me at the inn? We might find out something about this ghost of Scrap Faggot Green. Well, that suits me, Mr. Lewis. I'm ready for anything. <laughs> Close the window, Sergeant. Yeah. Three o'clock and nothing's happened yet. Hey, uh, old man Sykes' room is next to ours, ain't it? That's right. And I'll bet you he's sleeping like... <laughs> old man Sykes. Yeah, yeah, let's go. Mr. Sykes! Mr. Sykes! Are you all right, Mr. Sykes? I'm going in. Okay. Uh, uh, what the... Uh, hey, uh, are you all right, Mr. Sykes? What happened? Oh, I'm all right. I was in bed... Suddenly I heard a noise over by the bookcase. When I got up, somebody screamed and I hit the floor. Hey, Mr. Lewis, uh, take a look at these books, will you? Well, let's see. Yeah. Hmm. 
That's funny. All the jackets have been changed. Oh, it was uh, the ghost of Scrap Faggot Green. Hey, the Shakespeare jacket's on the gals, waiting. The Somerset Morn's on the Tolstoy. I tell you, nobody but a ghost could have caused that. It was that blinking Yankee bulldozer what started all this. Say, what are we going to do, Mr. Lewis? That may sound funny, but the reputation of the American army is at stake here. We can't afford to be blamed for turning a ghost loose on our allies. The next move is all set, Sergeant. The United Press has sent for Professor Harry Price. Yeah? Who's he? Professor Price is a member of the London Council on Psychical Research, the supernatural. Yeah, yeah, I get you. The professor will prove whether there's really a ghost of Scrap Packet Green and Great Lees. He better prove it. We can't have a ghost messing us up in this war. Silence, boys, silence. The professor is going to mark his report. Uh, gentlemen, I am convinced that the spirit of Scrap Packet Green has escaped. Oh, oh, man. Man. Silence, everybody. Silence. We must lose no time in inducing this ghost or spirit to resume her position in the grave. Uh, excuse me, Professor. How do you propose to do that? It's quite simple, Mr. Lewis. By replacing the stone in the exact spot from where it was pushed from her grave. That shouldn't be hard. We are working against time, gentlemen. I trust you realize that tomorrow is Friday the 13th. I fear to think what mischief this ghost might cause if she were allowed to remain at large on that day of dark omens. We'd better get her under today, or we'll be in for it tonight. Right, Mr. Lewis? I don't know. <laughs> Well, gentlemen, here we are. Now, uh, the stone must be placed uh, so that its four-foot length is pointed due north and south. All right, boys. Let's all push together. Right, Joe. Everybody all set? Right, yeah. Here. Here. Oh. Yeah. A little more. Come on, yeah. A little, little more. Uh, there. Uh, perfect. Oh, so that oh. did it. Thank the Lord. Our troubles are over. Yes, gentlemen, I am confident that the good people of Great Lees will have no further cause for worry about the ghost of Scrap Packet Green. She is once again safely locked in her grave. <laughs> Because the bloomin' eye on the rock points sideways. What are you driving at? Walter Sykes, I've been past that stone every day for 44 years, and the eye has always pointed up. Blimey! Macintosh is right. Of course I'm right. Oh, oh, Mr. Lewis, here we go again. Uh, there's nothing to be alarmed about, Sergeant. Nothing to be alarmed about. The professor, where's the professor? The professor has returned to London. But just to make sure this mystery is cleared up, the United Press is having another expert on the supernatural here in Great Lees tomorrow. Hmm. Who is he? Dr. D.G.J. McSweeney of County Cork, Ireland. Now, gentlemen, I think we should all retire. Good morning. Good morning, Mr. Sykes. Morning. Uh, apparently, the ghost of Scrap Packet Green is safely buried. The sergeant and I never heard a peep out of you all night. Yeah, that's right. No, that's wrong. That ghost is on the loose again. It's impossible. Impossible, eh? Well, how do you explain the fact that Mr. Chippins found his rabbit sitting on eggs in the chicken coop? No. Yes. And my flock of geese disappeared. They found them just now at the grave of the ghost of Scrap Packet Green. 
Dr. McSweeney should have arrived long ago. He's, He's uh, already here. He said he was going out to investigate. Uh, investigate what? You can't catch a ghost. <laughs> Uh, Dr. McSweeney, my name is Boyd Lewis of the United Press. Oh, yes, Mr. Lewis, yes. Uh, any news on the ghost of Scrap Flag at Green? Yes. What I'd like to announce is in Mr. Sykes' bar. Okay, let's go in. <laughs> gentlemen, gentlemen, there's nothing to be alarmed about. I have just completed a thorough investigation. And might I ask... What is your solution? You, Mr. Walter J. Sykes, are the solution. Me? Yes. I find that all of the witnesses to the unusual happenings caused by this uh, ghost are customers of the pub here, owned by the principal witness, Mr. Sykes. No, wait a minute here. You have an eye for business, Mr. Sykes. In fact, since this ghost scare, your business has increased considerably, hasn't it? Well, yes, but... Uh... Uh, you faked the switching of the book jackets. And as for your geese wandering away, well, I have never known geese to stay in one place. The rest of the happenings were the product of well-known, shall we say, habitués of this pub. Mr. Sykes merely stimulated your imaginations, and you unwittingly cooperated with him admirably. Well, gentlemen, am I right or am I wrong? Dr. McSweeney, it looks as if you're right. I believe in ghosts, Mr. Lewis. But I have arrived at the reluctant conclusion that the ghost of Scrap Faggot Green is, to be blunt, a hoax. listening to The Ghost Goes to War, the story of a ghost on the loose in England, as reported by United Press correspondent Boyd Lewis. We will present another in this series, Soldiers of the Press, soon. Be sure to listen. And meanwhile, look for United Press dispatches in your favorite newspaper. Listen for United Press news on the air. They are your guarantee of the world's best coverage of the world's biggest news. <laughs>